Howdy, fuckers, and welcome to an epic event, an adventure that I hope you can follow me with till the end. I will be doing a run on this game, as you can see, Ocarina of Time, <laughs> but it's going to be a little different than most runs. It will be a game play, a walk, a run of me playing this game, <laughs> with commentary, so kind of like a let's play, and it will be Zelda Ocarina of Time 100% no damage. I've been, been wanting to do an epic type of run like this, or a video series for YouTube, that lasts like a good amount of long time, where in the end, when it's done with, you know it was like an epic, long adventure. It, it took long, but in the end it was worth it, and I accomplished something cool in the end. So, this is my third time trying to record this run, for people who are new to this or haven't seen the other videos yet. I had to delete the first series, because... The recording got messed up with the third video, and I couldn't go back because I already saved. Then the second time, um, <coughs> the audio got synced in the second part, and it completely ruined the video, and I already recorded four parts before I knew it, so I had to restart over again. And this will be the final time, and hopefully third time's the charm. Okay, so I need to erase the first file. And here we go again. If it screws up again, I'm done. I don't want to start a run like four times over. So let's hope it's written in the stars and fate lets us do this run. I'm not going to be commenting during the cutscenes and in the description I'll post um, <clears throat> little shortcuts to the end of the video when the cutscenes are over. So if you don't want to watch the cutscenes because I know how boring they can be sometimes in this game after you've seen them so many times. So I'll put little shortcuts to when the cutscenes are over and I restart my commentary. So yeah, I'll also post the um, rules to 100% um, run of this game in the description, so look out for that. And alright, here we go. The beginning of this adventure. Let's start.
Okay, and we finally get the play. <laughs> By ramming our head into a wall. Alright. Hopefully this run is the run. 100% no damage. I'm trying to wonder how long this exact run will take, how many parts it will. I'm actually putting in kind of bets with my friend. He guesses this will take 100 parts. I said 113. What do you think? If you have a guess, put it in the comments below. Or, if you think I'll even finish this run. Where's the other ruby? There we go. Who knows, I may have more technical issues later in the run. And never even end up finishing it. I think I can get some backflips from it. Some rubies from backflips, can I? Yes, I can. Cool. <coughs> also, throughout the game, if I have a little, like, funny little thing to show you, or a glitch I know about, or just something I can show off, I'll do it for entertainment value. After all, it's just going to be nothing too serious. And I'm going to be um, <clears throat> recording everything. So you'll see what I do with your own two eyes. I'm not going to edit anything out. So you'll see all the good and all the bad. If I take damage, I have to go back to my last save point and restart. So I'll be saving often. And playing things safe, like waiting for this rock. Because, hey, I don't want to get hit by rock like five minutes into my <laughs> first part of my run. Okay, I should actually equip the sword here. I'll have to collect some rubies. Surprised I'm not getting ones from those bushes, but whatever. Whatever you want, game. I should still get enough because I get two from here. Five, five up here. And then another five crossing the stones. And that should be enough for the shield. Who actually fought at WrestleMania tonight. And they won. I actually just got done watching uh, WrestleMania a few minutes ago. Overall it was a okay WrestleMania. <laughs> Pretty good. The ending was fucking awful though. I didn't really care who won between Rock and Cena. If you haven't seen it yet, I guess I won't spoil it. But it doesn't really spoil it saying <laughs> the ending sucked because I didn't really care who won. If Cena won, we had a horrible wrestler as a champion. And if Rock won, we don't even get to see our champion because Rock never even shows up on Raw or wrestles really. But hey, we're playing Ocarina of Time, not talking about wrestling. So let's continue talking about the run. So we've met the dickhead Mido, and he won't let us by for some reason. Because we don't have a sword and shield. Even though we do have a sword and shield. And he lets us by for some reason. Alright, I want to make sure I'm careful here so I don't get hit by these fuckers. Deku Babas, wherever they are. Come on, show yourself who you are. There we go, that's good enough. Equip those before we get to the Deku tree cutscene. And save one more time. And another cutscene. Enjoy. I 
Okay, cutscene over. Nice. Um, I'll try about getting some deep nuts before I go into the tree. Although I think, yeah, those only give me sticks. I'll just get a deep nut from the ones inside the tree at the start. And we are now starting our first dungeon. Which hopefully will go well. On my first run of this game, it went very well. I took no damage, perfectly fine, the boss went fine. My second run of this game, I got annihilated and had to reset like four times. Let's see how it goes this time. Wait for him to come for me one more time. You have to kill him a certain way to get a deep nut, because if you kill him when he's um going up like that, then you only get a deep stick. You have to kill him when he withdraws like that. Fuck sakes, I took all that time and I did it wrong. But let's try three jump slashes then. One. Two. Three. And now let's just go up to him normally. There we go, Dekunet. Five each. Um, I could take that way, but then Navi's gonna bug me about bullshit, so let's just go this way. Although I might just be delaying the inevitable, because I think the little bitch still saves her speech for any little fucking vines I come up to later. <laughs> well, that's no problem, I'll just never look at any vines in this game. It's not like I have to climb these vines later, right? Fuck off. Yep, we delayed the inevitable. Sometimes you can actually skip this door scene though. Let's see if I can do it here. Fuck! I was like mashing A. Let's skip the dialogue. If you do that right, you can actually skip this little scene right here where she's talking to you. Fucking bitch, I was like so close. Like, what else could I have done better? Perfect. Also, most of these parts I'm going to probably put into 15-20 minute segments because I don't want them to go, to go on too long in case the uh, recording ever gets messed up so I have less risk of running um, any problems like audio desyncs or stuff like that. Plus 15 to 20 minutes is just a sexy number. Don't fall on the chest link. Finally the slingshot, so I can take care of those skull tools and hopefully actually, actually get some fucking deep nuts from them. Because deep nuts will act, normally I wouldn't use them that much, but in a no damage run they'll probably actually end up being pretty useful for me. Especially 100% no damage, we'll have to accomplish more than I would normally need to. Encountering more enemies would mean I need the nuts more. Anyways, I'll make a save here and end the first part. Thank you for watching. Link likes the first part. He's going insane. Anyway, so next time we will continue on the inside of the Deku tree. What will happen? Will the run get fucked up again in the first few parts, or will it finally embark on its journey, which should have happened many, many days ago? Thanks for watching.